Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, The Afro Gardener. Today we're going to be starting seeds. Let's get into it. I'm very excited. Um, I got a lot of stuff here. So, um, this, what I'm going to be using, this is a seed cell tray. Um, now, with this tray, these come in this, but that's not what I'm going to be using. I'm actually going to be using these smaller ones. I think these are the Jiffy seed starting ones. Um, I'm going to be using these um, because the ones that came in them, my sister already used because she gave me this. And so I'm just trying to, um, I guess I'm trying to like, I'm trying to have as many plants as I can so I can have as much food as I can. Because if you don't, if you don't sow many seeds, then you won't have a very good yield. So, you know, if you sow more, you have the potential to get more food. So, yeah, but I'm just going to put these little ones inside here inside here not here so i don't know where i was going i am so excited however i'm trying to start so many things in um this kind of smaller space that i have and i'll tell you why um it gets warm here kind of fast kind of but we still have like cold, random super random cold snaps it gets super cold super randomly and so yeah i'm relying on my grown my indoor growing space to start all these yeah. so you pour the water over them and then they start to expand relatively quickly pretty quick they start to expand Ooh. So, what I'm going to be um, sewing today is some sweet Elysium. I said I was going to sew this on another video, but I didn't. <laughs> I didn't have a chance. So I'm going to be sewing sweet Elysium. <laughs> Cosmos. Some oregano. Carrots. And... Some parts. So it only takes a few minutes for them to expand. A lot of them have started expanding already. So um, I just take this. You see this little film? This little netting? So I just peel that back just enough where I can get to the seeds. Well, get to the seeds. Where I can get to the. You know what I'm trying to say. I just peel that back. So I can get to the the good part. But I used these um, last year and I really liked them. Because you can just take the whole netting off and just directly plant your plant in there. Now, um, I have not tried the biodegradable cardboard cups. I did grow in them last year, but I didn't direct, I didn't plant them. Um... I was doing some research and some people were saying that um, their root system weren't able to expand for some of their plants whenever they use those. I have never used them. I've never directly just put the um, put it in the ground like that. Now um, I have used the cardboard which I was talking about in one of my other videos. I have used just the ramen noodle box cardboard or just you know the box any type of box however I um, if I was gonna plant it I would just cut off the bottom cut off the bottom of the box so the roots can like spread out but that's just me that's just what I would do you know because cardboard is biodegradable but I just have never I don't have any experience just putting the entire box in the ground <laughs> I've never done that I don't think I would do that, you know. But 
because you want to make sure that you are giving your roots, you know, the space that they need, the space that's necessary for that particular plant, that particular variety of plant. So I'm just pulling all these back. So I have them all peeled back now. That took a little bit longer than I thought, but you know, whatever. So first I'm going to be planting these carrots. These were a, um, a gift for my grandmother because she is so sweet. I love you. I know she's going to watch this. <laughs> and um, I tried to plant carrots last year. However, I didn't know that I tried to plant them in June. My mistake. I didn't know that they um, would really struggle and die and they don't they can't take that much heat but um, look how tiny they are this is them and I'm only gonna do I'm just gonna like take a little pinch because I'm not trying to waste I'm gonna take a little pinch and sew them in here and cover them up I'm super excited I'm so excited y'all like y'all don't even understand and I still have things to do, like, I'm going to have to get, like, um, smaller pots to trans to transplant a lot of these. But what I think I'm going to just do is get, like, like a crazy amount, like 300 um, paper cups. That's what I'm thinking I'm going to do. Because um, at least for... The things that to um, transplant into to th whenever I go through and thin everything that I'm sewing, I'm thinking that that's what I'm gonna do. So because and um, definitely heed heed to me and listen to this. This lady, I um, I was on market Facebook Marketplace, and the, and I saw this lady had all these um, flower pots that she was just giving away. And um, I contacted her and we got together and she gave me um, like 25 flower pots like now I'm not above having you know a mixture of like in ground you know raised beds and um, containers and I was really excited because it's gonna give me the opportunity to to grow more food like grow more food so I'm excited about that I'm super excited I'm only sewing about like two rows per per um see you know per vegetable or herb just because I'm, I'm really not trying to get overwhelmed I'm really not trying to actually let me put this here so I know what I know what I planted because I really don't want to become overwhelmed and it's really easy to do that. Next, I'm gonna plant this oregano. And these are even smaller. They gotta have a bag inside of a bag. Like, look at this. They're tiny. I don't know if y'all can even see that. Well, they're super small. But I'm really not trying to get overwhelmed and I'm really trying to really, 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 really do this the right way. I'm not saying there's any particular right way but I just feel like there is a right and wrong way to do things and I just don't want to end up like I was last year because I have I have a lot of plans and I have a lot of dreams as far as my gardening goes like I want to eventually get to the point where I can put food up you know where I can um you know, I want to look up and have like a shelf, a shelf full of canned vegetables that I grew myself. That is really, really what I want. And so I'm trying to do things where I can have that as a result, you know. So I'm still learning. I have a lot to learn, but I am really, really excited about it. Because I just have, I just, food sustainability is really important to me. Because 
we have a big family, you know, um, and we're going to have, you know, three big boys. And my daughter, my daughter eats you out of house and home, first of all. <laughs> Let's start there. My daughter will eat you out of house and home. And even as little as she is, because she's only two, but I really just want, you know, to be able to um, grow food for my family that's healthy and then and that's good for them so little squirrel there I was chasing squirrel <laughs> um, you know just because it's, it is really important so I'm trying to learn all that I can about how to do this now I'm gonna sew these cosmos another gift for my grandma These are really interesting looking seeds. Look at these. Did y'all see that? These are really cool looking. I think I'm only gonna do about two in each. Like I've been doing as far as these go. But I cannot wait to show y'all my um, indoor light space like oh my goodness like you know when you think about something and you're really hopeful about it and then it happens yeah because like I really was just like I really want I really want a space where I can have um, grow things inside where you know I don't have to be putting stuff outside have to run from the front and back porch to move my trays and stuff because it's gonna rain or thunderstorm and I don't want my seeds to get flooded and displaced and so that's initially why I wanted an indoor space where I could grow things so I'm really excited to show y'all what it looks like I'm so excited Uh-oh, I dropped all those in here. I love flowers. Like, seriously. I really love me some flowers, y'all. Like, with a passion. <laughs> I love, love, love flowers. I love flowers. I think they're so pretty. Like, even though that they, even though people be like, well, I don't like flowers because they die. Um, you can make, you can make flowers, like a cut bouquet of flowers. You can make them last a long time. And these seeds look really cool too. They're like a brown, red. Super cool. I think I'm gonna do two rows of these. A little peach. I cannot wait. I'm so excited. I love the sunshine. Fall used to be my favorite season. It really did. It used to be my favorite season until I started gardening. Now, spring is my favorite season. Spring and summer. Because you know you have, you're able to do a lot. I'm all done sowing my seeds and I'm so excited. <laughs> what are y'all sowing? What are y'all, what are some things that are, you guys are planting? Um, some things that you guys are throwing in y'all's garden or inside growing space? Um... Let me know down in the comments what you guys are up to, what y'all are doing. Let me know. Chat with me, talk to me. And um, as always, remember to like, share, and subscribe. See y'all later.